Right, because you, you know, get, did you do this a lot before? You yeah, when I when you I get the threw, anterior chain a before, little more involved. before I was conventional deadlifting, I did a lot of trap bar deadlifting. Right. You know? So this the, they're they're safer because yeah. they're easier to do. Yeah. Yes, um, they do load the posterior chain not quite not as much as a traditional as deadlift. Yeah, you get a little bit more of the, the 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 front of your well, body. Well, it's, a little it's bit more very broad. natural. Well, less hip hinge. You got that's, a neutral grip. Right. So right away when you do a conventional deadlift in front right. of you, that already creates a challenge because of where you got to grip the bar. So being, it, being in a neutral position right here next to your side makes it a lot easier to grab. I stand in the you bar. You squat down a little more upright. Yeah, more quad activation going on here, right? Instead of like you, like you said, your posterior chain. It's like, nice to have a, a neutral grip like that. Yeah. So, so yeah, this very, is a trap bar. What Adam's using feels a trap really natural. bar. And the motion is very similar to a deadlift. He's squatting down and he's standing up using his legs. Go ahead and stand up. Still Adam. a impingement movement, right? Yeah. Right. So this is, uh, I throw these in sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I replace my conventional deadlifts with the trap bar deadlift. Yeah. The reason being, I feel less strain on the lumbar. So if my back is starting to get tired from lots of deadlifting, I'll transition to this. Also, this is an important point. Okay. You will be able to lift more weight with a trap bar than you will with a traditional bar for deadlifts. For me, it's about 40 to 45 pounds more. Wow. So if I'm trying to get my body used to lifting, let's say 500 or 600 pounds, I'll do it on this first before I do the straight bar. In so fact, you can sort of acclimate to that weight. Exactly. In fact, yeah. I pulled 600 on this strap bar months before I ever pulled it on the straight bar, but it got me used to holding the weight. Well, you know, there's one thing that uh, I always look out for with this particular exercise, the rolling factor. Sometimes I'll, I'll see clients grab it and they'll roll it into themselves as they're coming up. Oh, really? So, I mean, this is just something that I noticed. I made sure that told them like this is not what we're looking for we're looking for a fixed position here and we're looking straight for up. straight up and yeah. down straight up but yeah it's a, it's a it is a deadlift it's just a, a different type of a deadlift I, I think the things that I always want to I want to point out to a client is you get in that position and just like a regular deadlift the common mistake is to have slack uh -huh. and to let the hips elevate first before they take that slack out so sitting down so I'll take my hands in front of me and it's still a hip hinge movement so I slide the hips back right I lock into place the slack is out of my arms, arms are tight, and then really I'm just thinking about thrusting my hips forward. So you're hips, driving through with your legs. Hips forward, forward, yeah. yep, opening the chest. Hips come Boom. forward, slide those hips back, down that position, thrust the hips forward. So more of a thrusting the hips forward versus a picking the bar up in the way. Sure, and then you want now you want you do want to be careful. You don't want to stand up with the bar and exaggerate. Right, right. I see that too, right? With the deadlift too. I mean you're just standing up nice and tall and straight, contracting the glutes. That's yeah. really what you're doing. That's it. Yeah, so fantastic exercise, I'd it's say. It's a great kind of a hybrid exercise. I'd say if you deadlift every single week like you should, uh, I would say throwing this in once a month or once every other month is probably a good idea. It's ex I think it's especially good. This is a great tool for trainers that are training clients uh, to start them here before you progress to a, a, a traditional dimensional deadlift. I'd probably do these just as much, as much as I do a zercher squat or something like that where, you know, there's definite relevance to it, but you know, just infrequently. Yeah, I feel I feel the, the conventional deadlift is so so superior to this, that once you've got somebody who's doing that really well, there's so many variations, whether oh, you're yeah. doing single you legs, sumo, narrow it. bands, yeah, yes. Yeah, there's all kinds of techniques. But a great to way it. to work you up, work up to that point to where you get, you're getting that hip hinge movement down, and when you feel yeah. comfortable, then you can start to take a bar out. It is good for real, teaching. Real small tip too, whenever you're deadlifting, something to keep in mind, and tension is very important. Rather than focusing on lifting the bar, I tell people to drive their feet through the floor. Yeah. Believe it or not, it changes it. Rather than trying to lift, right. if I just push my feet through, I come up a lot straighter and stronger. Yeah. And you're addressing your legs first, which is exactly. important.